What's good YouTube, it's Justice I used to be paying today I'm back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about Forbats and why I think almost everything surrounding him or about him is fake. But before I get into that, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, do all those things. It helps me out a ton. And also, this video is going to be like a little like less serious on my end. This is me kind of putting on my conspiracy hat. This is me kind of just speculating more than anything this isn't really like facts or, or a lot of the stuff is based off of facts but just my opinion and my interpretation i can't prove anything that i'm saying yet i can't prove it yet but this is just how i feel about the whole format situation this is just my thoughts and beliefs on the whole thing and also before i really get into it this is just a character that i play i used to be pay is not a representation of my real thoughts these are all just jokes everything on this page is not meant to be taken seriously. this is not real okay this is not real this is a character okay so don't don't send me a cease and desist because this is not a real video four bats might just be like the fastest growing musician in music history like like statistically he might be okay the man had two songs out, two, and he had 10 million monthly listeners on Spotify with hundreds of thousands of, or hundreds of millions of streams, two songs over 10 million monthly listeners. Okay. Um, he just recently, 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 he just recently released a third song titled Act Three, but also then released a remix of his second song with Drake. The second song, Day to Day, is his biggest song. And so I guess technically now he has like four four total songs and just a boatload of of streams a boatload of monthly listeners and also a drake feature three songs in his career that's more important than anything he has a drake feature three songs into his career and so everyone's been calling this man an industry plan everyone's been saying it i feel like i don't need to really jump on that bandwagon everyone's already said it right like everyone's saying industry plan industry plan industry plan it's you know everyone's saying it at this point in time but honestly I want to get on this before everything get ex gets exposed. That's why I'm making this video, because everything about this situation will come to light eventually, right? It's never going to be completely in silence. This isn't going to stay a mystery for very long, in my opinion. It's going to get exposed. Somebody behind the scenes isn't going to get paid by somebody, or Four Bats' childhood friend is going to come out who he's not friends with, and he smashed his girl, or something. something's going to happen to where this whole kind of bubble gets popped eventually. So I want to get on it early, and I just want to say... I think everything, pretty much everything, about four bats and this whole thing is fake. I, I just don't think it's real. I think 99% uh, of this stuff is manufactured. The first thing is his blow up. Obviously, this wasn't like an entirely, completely organic blow up of just people naturally messing with his music and over time him building a massive audience. People let, do mess with his music, don't get me wrong. Like, I actually think his music's pretty good. I'm not gonna get on here and say he's trash. I like it, but the blow up wasn't completely organic and obviously he paid for a lot of promo, which isn't a bad thing. You can pay for promo. I'm not even trying to down on that, but he was paying like, you know, like he was trying to pay like academics and, you know, rap TV. I'm pretty sure he paid, but like he was paying for promo all over the place. And what really blew him up was the from the block performances. Now, if you don't know from the block performances are the ones where the rappers outside and they got a mic like hanging from what it looks like the sky, they're outside and they're rapping into this old school mic while their song plays and there's people in the background or whatever, just, you know, it's, it's outside it looks kind of cool and for some reason there's like some sort of like black magic involved the illuminati like the illuminati confirmed people need to investigate this there's some sort of black magic involved with the hanging mic outside thing and just making everything blow up like when people see that hanging mic outside thing it's like hypnosis and it makes them just watch the entire i don't know i don't know what it is but yeah so the from the block performances were what really blew him up because people finally saw the face and the whole contrast between like his image and how the music sounds and it blew up it blew up from the from the block performances but it's like how did he get on there maybe he paid i don't know maybe he paid but it's like his first ever song he gets a from the block performance that's like the, the the amount of promo he's getting is a different kind of bag in my opinion like of course you can just pay for a promo of course i could probably hit up academics and be like yo post me on your page but he's probably gonna be like hey i need 10k or something like that or if i go to from the blog hey i want to get on there my artist isn't really that known but like can we perform they're probably gonna charge me right because it's a big platform rap's gonna charge me all these platforms are gonna charge me for this promo so he clearly has a very deep bag when it comes to marketing now maybe he's got a good job and I, I don't know maybe he's just got a good job and that's all it is but 
You see what I'm saying? Like, there's obviously some stuff at play here that doesn't really make a lot of sense for somebody who has two songs at the moment. By, by the time he got on From the Block, he had one song, and then he did his other song on From the Block. And his second uh, performance, The Date at Eight, um, one is one of the most viewed videos on that YouTube page. It's like second or third in terms of highest views on that page. And that page has major artists like Polo G, G Herbo, like I think like NLE Choppa as well. Like it's not like they're just doing any old body who from anywhere who has 20,000 monthly listeners on Spotify. No, they're doing big artists as well. But Forbats, one of his videos is one of the, well, both of his videos have millions, but one of his videos is damn near the most viewed video on the channel. Another reason a lot of people think Forbats is a plant is because of his manager, who is a woman by the name of Amber Baker, I believe, and she works for RCA, which is under the major record label company of Sony, and RCA has huge artists like Doja and SZA and Tim's, I believe, so this is a very big label, so she clearly has some sort of connections and probably some deep pockets. Now, he wasn't officially signed to RCA or Sony. He just signed some sort of deal with OVO, though, as of the recording of this video, so he was still like considered like an independent artist for a while now into his blow up but still his nan his manager being you know connected to RCA and working with RCA is part of the reason as to why a lot of people are like all right this dude's just clearly an industry plant but who knows maybe again he can just get this this really really high level industry worker to work for him as his manager maybe he's got connections maybe it's his cousin who knows right like we don't really know for sure but his manager being a an employee of RCA has definitely not helped his case in terms of like the whole industry plant thing. And everything for bats related really starts to come into existence around like November of 2023. There is nothing online at the moment. I'm sure it'll come out eventually, maybe six months down the line, maybe a year, who knows, but eventually it'll come out because it always does. But at the moment, there's nothing from him from before like November or like September, October of like 2023. Nothing. No old Instagram, no no Instagram posts, no like Twitter, no old YouTube videos, no old SoundCloud songs, no TikTok, like nothing. It's like bro literally just spawned in at the end of 2023. He has nothing on the internet. Literally, like at the moment, nobody can find anything. His name, his real name is Nico Bennett. People have looked for his Instagram. They can't find it. He doesn't exist before November of 2023, pretty much online. Even his name, Forbats, was trademarked in December of 2023. So very clearly, there's been a conceded effort to make sure that nothing from his past is public right now. There's, there's a very obvi obvious effort to make sure that we don't know anything about his past. Because the dude is like in his early 20s, maybe, maybe even a little younger, maybe teens, early 20s, somewhere around that age, 18 to 25. So he grew up on the internet. For sure. I don't care how, you know, secluded he is or how, like, everyone was on the internet, bro. Literally everyone. Everyone was, you know, 10 years old trying to go viral on Vine. Like, he's somewhere on the internet. But there's very obviously been an effort to make sure that we don't see that. That it's been deleted or hidden away. And the dude is a member of Gen Z. The, he's on the internet. He had Instagram accounts. He had, he had all that stuff. So I don't want to hear that. I doubt that he just was the one kid who grew up without social media or without any sort of online presence. That would be pretty miraculous. But again, it's very clear that they don't want us to see anything past the actual inception of four bats or the character of four bats or the rap artist four bats or not rap artist, R&B artist four bats. A major selling point of Forbats is like the contrast in his image, right? Because you look at him and he's got the shiesty mask on. He's got golds in his mouth. He's got a whole bunch of people behind him. They're clearly in some sort of like, you know, city area. It looks like he's about to get on the mic and start spitting some, some drill rap. It looks like he's about to get on the mic, the mic and start talking about sliding on ops. Like it's very clear that they're trying to make like a dichotomy between the image and the music. And it works. I'm not even mad at that. I'm not going to call that fake or anything. Like, that's a good idea. It makes sense because he gets on there and he starts singing and you're like, whoa, didn't expect him to sound like that. That's his whole gimmick. Cool. Understandable. Like, that's not even, you know, that's not an issue. But I even think the voice is probably fake as well, bro. Like, I'm sorry. It just sounds like I'm hating on this video. And maybe I am. Maybe I'm completely wrong about all this stuff. But the voice is definitely fake as well. All right. The dude on his from the block performances is not actually singing. He's not. He's not, okay? It's clearly just the song playing and he's lip syncing. At least in my opinion, maybe I'm wrong. Again, I could be wrong, but it looks like the song is just playing and he's just lip syncing to his own lyrics. The dude has golds in his mouth and he's singing every note per perfectly. You can hear him 
enunciate all his words, pronounce all his words perfectly. And anybody that's been around people with goals know like sometimes it gives you a little lisp. All right. Anytime you have anything over your teeth, it's going to give you a little bit of like a lisp on certain words. And he's just singing and it sounds exactly like it does when you listen to the track outside of the performance. So I don't even think he's really singing. And the voice is probably faked. It, it's probably heavily engineered by somebody in the studio, right? There's probably an engineer who's going crazy in there to make his voice sound like that. But there's also even another route, which is a little controversial, but his voice not at, might, might not even be his, right? Like, obviously, it's not his in terms of, like, how it sounds on the final product. But, like, Travis Scott does the whole autotune thing. Like, T-Pain did it. Kanye does it. That's not really the big deal, but, like, a, a big deal. But, like, it might not even be his voice that they're altering or changing. It might be somebody else's. There might be somebody behind there that's actually singing. Or it might even be AI. Like, I, I'm willing to even conspire, c c conspire that far. I couldn't think of the word on the top of my head. But, like, I, I'm willing to possibly even take it that far. Again, remember... This is just me theorizing a little bit of just conspiracy play, but like, I think that there's a very real chance that it might not even be his voice that's being engineered. It's also very convenient that we've never heard him truly, truly sing live. We've never seen him do performances. We haven't even heard the dude speak, let alone a performance. We have not even heard his real voice up until this point. So I, I, again, I don't think that's an accident. I think that is very much on purpose. You're telling me this dude isn't on Instagram live at any time, just chilling, talking. He's not like, I don't know, man. It's just, it's, there's just too much going on here for this to not be pretty much completely manufactured. Now they say that four bats is from Dallas, Texas, and I'm not going to jump out the window and just say cap. All right. Cause he, he might be from Dallas, Texas. I'm not going to do that, but I feel like you can question that as well. All right. You can question it because you know, he's been getting a lot of cosigns from big artists. He got a cosign from Drake. He got some cosigns from Ye, which are questionable too. I'm not even sure if those are real. The one where like they asked Kanye if who his favorite artist is and he says four bats, that might be AI. I'm not going to lie. All right. I'm not going to lie because it sounded a little funny. Kanye, I don't know. It just, it was just a little off. It might've been real, but it just was a little off in my opinion. I've seen other people saying this online as well, but again, we're just, we're just having a little conspiracy fun. Don't take it all super serious. That might be cap as well, but that's not what really is super strange because Drake loves underground artists. He loves upcoming artists and he loves shouting them out. That's not super weird for Drake, but normally when there's an artist out of a city, especially Dallas, like Dallas is a pretty solidly sized city. Um, there's going to be other rappers who co-sign them first or co-sign them a lot because they're from their city, right? And there's not a lot of like super, super big rappers from Dallas at the moment in the mainstream, but there's somebody like Yellow Breezy. And, you know, you don't see Yellow Breezy talking about four bats or anybody in the area that I've seen, at least. I've never really seen any of these dudes co-sign four bats. Normally it's like, you know, Yellow Breezy or somebody from the city who's a much more established artist is doing a show and maybe they bring out four bats because they know the city loves him, right? He's going crazy in Dallas, Texas right now. Everyone's passing around his music or other artists are shouting him out, yo, Dallas love, or even other, maybe celebrities from the city are showing him love, yo, Dallas love, shout out four bats. I don't really see that with four bats. Maybe I'm wrong, but I haven't really seen that as well. And I feel like Dallas is just the perfect city to put him in. If, if it was fake, okay, all right, I'm not saying it is, but if this isn't really where he's from, I feel like Dallas is the perfect city to put him in, right? Because if you look at Dallas, Texas, Dallas is, is a recognizable city. Pretty much everyone in America knows where Dallas is, or at least they know it's in Texas. It's a big city, Dallas Cowboys. We all know of it, right? We know of Dallas. We also know that Dallas has, you know, a solid rap game. It's got solid rappers out of there. And we also know that Dallas is like a fairly tough city, right? Like we don't think of Dallas as like, you know, a crazy city full of crime and all that stuff, but we know like they, you know, they real out there. Like it's not a game. They're not playing out there. So we know that Dallas is a tough city as well, but also Dallas isn't like one of the top, top marquee cities in rap right now. Dallas is a big city. It's got, you know, a tough side to it. It's got the streets there. You know, people take it serious. They don't laugh at it. Like if they said he was from like I don't know, somewhere in like North Dakota, people would laugh and be like, ah, of course he's not a gangster. I don't care how many, you know, black friends he got in the back of his video, bro. He's not a gangster. Like if you say he's from Dallas, people are like, okay, he might really be like that. Like they're going to take that serious. And also, like I said earlier, it's not a major marquee city in rap right now. It's not in Atlanta. It's not in LA. It's not a Chicago, right? It's not a New York. So he can be from Dallas. He can have a little bit of street cred from Dallas. And also 
people aren't going to question it like a lot, right? Because if somebody said, hey, there's this guy, four bats, he's from Chicago. He's really, really big, but he, he looks like he might be in the streets. I don't know. He'd be, he be kind of in the streets. He got on the shiesty. He got on the goals. He got his gang behind him. Like he looks like him and his crew look like they might be like that. Like if he was from Chicago, all the fans are DMing Lil Dirk. Hey, you heard of Four Bats? He looks like he's from your city. They're DMing Polo G. They're DMing G Herbo. They're D DMing uh, 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 Tay Savage. They're DMing FYBJ Main. They're DMing, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, King Yellow. They're DMing all these guys because Chicago's a major city. Chicago is well respected. And people are like, yo, like, who is this guy? Do y'all know him? And so people would start getting in these interviews like, man, I ain't never heard no Four Bat. Four Bat, who's Four Bat? And people might start talking like, okay, this dude might not be who he's being portrayed to be because if he was in LA they would be DMing all the LA rappers they would be DMing the no jumper guys yo brick baby have you heard of this dude he there would be a lot of questions but when it's a city like Dallas where you know it's tough enough that people respect it but also it's not big enough to where a whole bunch of people are going to run to all like their favorite Dallas you know rappers or even Dallas personalities like rap personalities and ask them if they've heard of four bats that's why I think it's the perfect city, because if he was in New York, they would be asking all the dudes, yo, you heard, of, they'd be asking Kai Sinai, you ever heard of Four Bats when you, was, they would be asking all these people if they've heard of Four Bats, because there's a lot of reputable people, a lot of people who people enjoy to watch and, and watch all their content and enjoy all their music, that they would be asking about this dude who's apparently from their city and just blown up to become this huge star. There would be a lot more questions if he was from one of these cities. That's why I think... I'm not going to say he's not really from Dallas, but if he wasn't, you know, really from anywhere that was recognizable, putting him in Dallas wouldn't be that bad of an idea. All right, this is the point in the video where I probably take it too far. I'm going to admit, this is me reaching. This is definitely a reach, okay? This part of the video is a reach. The rest of it is me just kind of looking at things and being like, eh, I don't know, this seems a little phony. This is the part where I reach, okay? I'll admit. Four Bats, is, his real name is Nico Bennett, but we can't find Nico Bennett to save our lives, all right? Nobody went to high school with Nico Bennett. Nobody has his name in a yearbook. Nobody knew Nico Bennett. We can't hear anything from Nico Bennett. Nobody knows, right? But I think eventually the whole thing will be exposed eventually. Some, some of his friends from wherever he's actually from, if it's not Dallas, are going to come out and expose the guy because, you know, he felt like he didn't pay him for something or, you know, you know how people are. They get slighted by people, or at least they think they got slighted by someone, and they just expose them and try to rain on their whole parade. It happens with everyone. It's going to happen to four bats because he's a human. He had to have friends, right? Like he can't just <laughs> have been born to nobody and just be bred to this super, okay? He had to have friends. He had to have family members. Somebody's going to come out and think they were wronged by him and try to expose everything. It happens to literally every famous person ever. Like anybody that actually has a decent amount of notoriety has had a family member or a friend expose them. So it's going to all come out eventually. But Nico Bennett might not even be his real name. I'm, I'm going to be real. I don't know if it's his. I, I, I kind of doubt that as well. But like this might be a, a, a play where Nico Bennett, for bats, is not even actually the artist. Hear me out. He might be the puppet. He might be on some Milli Vanilli type timing where he's the face. He's the guy that they're putting out there, but he's not the musician. Now, I, I could be just completely disrespecting his music and his crap. I'm not trying to do that. But again, this is just me. We're just we're just spitting conspiracies back and forth. Right. Like we're just having a little fun. I think he might not even be the artist. There's a chance. There's a chance. I'm not going to say it, but I think there's a, a solid chance, maybe like a 25 percent chance. He's not even the real artist, bro. He's just the guy that they're using because he's got the image and he looks, you know, like a tough guy or he's a drill rapper. Oh, my God. Spooky. But he's rapping about love or singing about love. Sorry. He's singing about love, but he looks like he's going to rap about how he's going to, you know, spin on your block and rain it with shots like that might be a play here. It also might. Again, I'm reaching. All right. Now I'm like at a point where it's like five percent chance. OK, this is a really big reach. OK, obviously. You know, we've seen in music people be the face of something, but not actually be the voice, mostly in the form of like ghostwriters and like stuff like that and even ghost singers but like as far as Millie Vanilli to where they have nothing to do really with the musical process like but this is the part where I take it too far <laughs> like like one percent chance this might be an AI play this might be the music industry's way of really pushing AI music okay because we know that they have the capabilities to do it we've heard it there was even a, an AI Kanye verse that was floating around maybe like six or seven months ago that I had to make a video and be like yo this isn't real and tell people like yo this is not a real verse but like AI music is becoming a real thing labels have talked about it somebody even like Timbaland would really wanted to get into AI and made a whole AI Biggie song which is crazy because Timbaland's an OG like why would you you know but they're trying to get into AI music 
They, there was potentially some verses that came out from DMX, some songs that people were saying might have been AI. So this is a real thing. Like, I'm not just making this up. This isn't the conspiracy part. AI is real. AI music is real. But this might be their way of kind of pushing AI music because if you remember about a year ago, FN Mecca was an artist who, it was an AI artist and he was signed. He was the first ever AI rapper signed. And he actually got released from his contract like a week later because the AI rapper was considered like a stereotype of black people. He had dreads and stuff and it looked kind of goofy. He was also saying the N word, but the guy who made the music might not have been black. So it was a whole thing and people just were not feeling an AI artist getting signed. But this might be the way to kind of push that AI stuff, bro. Put a face in front of it, have the music be AI, and then eventually acknowledge the fact that, yo, this isn't actually his music, this is AI, but like you like it anyway, right? Because we all kind of agree that his music is solid. So we all like the music anyway, so why does it matter if it's AI? It might be an AI play. This is me reaching for that like 2% chance. It's probably not the case, but the rest of the other stuff I said I think holds a little bit more water. This is me just kind of really, really stretching and reaching. But I could be wrong about this stuff. All of this could just be coincidence. He was just a guy that literally never touched the internet until he was like 20 something and dropped his first song. And then he blew up out of nowhere. He's really from Dallas. That's really his name. Like I could just be wrong about all this stuff. He could not even be an industry plan. People could be wrong about that. And maybe we all are wrong. And I'll apologize if I am. I will come on here and apologize and be like, my bad, bro. My bad for ever doubting you. But this is just what I think about the situation. It's just my theory, just me kind of piecing things together. But I will say his music is good. I like the music. That's, I don't know. I was going to say that's the most important part, but I don't know. But that that is, you know, a, a big piece of the puzzle. He makes good music. He. But, but no, he makes good music. So I, I will say that. Like, it's not like it's bad music. So if you're going to be an industry plant, at least don't be trash, right? Like, that's all we can ask for. If you're going to get a head start and have all of this stuff to your, you know, to your display at your fingertip, all these big connections, all this money for, like, at least don't make sorry music, because that's what a lot of industry plants do, they make trash music, and that's why they fall off, but yeah, I don't know, the whole four bats thing, I, th I just think everything's manufactured about it, this is not a fact-based video, this is not me knowing all this stuff, this is not me, like, I think this is all just, it's just fabricated, in my opinion, but who knows, eventually we will get a childhood friend of his exposing him, eventually it's just gonna happen a cousin an auntie uh, you know maybe even his mom sometimes it's moms it's, you know we've seen moms and dads expose their famous kids we've seen it all okay so maybe an ex-girlfriend somebody's gonna come out eventually and kind of pop the bubble and give us a little bit of a peek behind that curtain and see what really is going on with this four bats character but if you made it this far i greatly appreciate you and if you're gonna leave a comment i will respond to it if you start your comment off with payway or no way. All right. The last video I said payway. So some people are going to still be holding on to that, but we got to change it. We got to make sure these people are watching to the very end of the video. So this one is payway or no way. And if you say that, I will respond to your comment. Of course, I'm not going to respond to it like a week later. Uh, like if you leave the comment like two or three weeks out of this video, but like you get what I mean. Like if you leave your comment in a relatively decent time, I'm going to respond if you say payway or no way. But that's the end of my video. If you made it this far, I greatly appreciate you. Again, have a good day. Be safe. Be blessed. Peace.